Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your DreamHost email from within your Gmail inbox. And not only that, but you'll be able to send email from within your Gmail inbox using your DreamHost email address. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to send and receive email using your DreamHost email address from within your Gmail inbox. If you don't already have a email address from DreamHost, check out this video, which is a full walkthrough of setting up an email address with DreamHost. And by the way, depending on whatever type of account you have, you can have between one and unlimited email addresses on DreamHost. Um, so check that out first if you don't have that. And if you do, we can go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. And you know, contrary to what you might think, most of what we're gonna be doing is actually within Gmail, but I do have my DreamHost account open here in case we need to refer to it. So first thing I wanna do is open the inbox, the Gmail inbox that we want to be able to send uh, emails from and receive emails, send emails from, receive emails to. Um, and what I'm gonna be using is this test account, dummy account, demo account, Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com. And the first thing you're gonna do is click on this gear icon up here and see all settings. There is a tab up here called accounts and imports. So click on that. And on the left-hand side, uh, we wanna come down to the section that says check mail from other accounts. And we wanna add a mail account here. So in the resulting dialog box, this yellow box here, uh, we want to type in the email address that we are working with. And for me, that is Tony at Tony Florida. Dot me. So this is, I already created this email address with DreamHost. I bought this domain name with DreamHost and um, everything's good to go. I can check email from DreamHost using their webmail, but I wanna check it within Gmail. That is the point of this tutorial. So type that in, click next, and there is no other options here except for import emails from other my other account using POP3 click next, and this is where we're gonna type in our credentials. So the username is your email address again, so tony at tonyflorida.me. The password, I'll paste that in, and the pop server uh, for anybody on DreamHost, at least at this point, is pop.dreamhost.com, and the port for that is 995, which is an option here uh, in this dropdown box. Now, the recommended settings for these checkboxes here is pretty much the first three checks here. So we'll just go through those one by one. Leave a copy of retrieve messages on the server. Yes, we wanna do that. Always use a secure connection SSL when retrieving mail. That's a good thing. And label incoming messages with the name of your email address. That helps you distinguish between you know your Gmail, um, your, your typical Gmail, email messages and these messages as well. So um, that looks good. We can go ahead and click on add account. And because we typed in everything correctly, uh, your mail account has been added. This is now asking, um, do you want to be able to send mail? So basically, let's just take a step back. We are, as it says here, we are able to retrieve mail from this account. Do you wanna be able to send mail from this account? Yes, we do. So keep that radio button selected, click on next, and enter the information, the mailbox name, the name that you want other people to see. I'm gonna pick uh, just my name, Tony Florida, and keep this box checked that says treat as an alias, and click on next. And here we're gonna have to enter some more information. Again, at this point, all of this information is the same for all DreamHost users, so you can type in smtp.dreamhost com, and the port for that is 465. The username is your email address again, so tony at tonyflorida.me, and the password, I'll paste that in as well. Um, we want to keep this box uh, sec selected that says secure connection using SSL, which is recommended. So go ahead and click on add account. And now um, in the background, I'll just move this out of the way. We do see that we have Tony at tonyflorida.me under the check mail from other accounts and send mail as tony at tonyflorida.me. So sending and receiving emails. This last thing here is asking us to uh, look in our email for the, the a, a confirmation code. Um, so let's go ahead and check in our inbox if that's there. And 
that is a different email address, so we don't care about that. And if you don't see, this is the part where if you don't see that email come through, you might have to come back, go back into DreamHost and check your webmail account. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go back to DreamHost, go into mail and webmail, and we want to basically sign into Tony at TonyFlorida.me, uh, that inbox using webmail. So here is the link for that webmail. I'm going to type in Tony at TonyFlorida.me and I'll paste in the password again. And we should see that um, Gmail confirmation here with our code. So we can, we actually have two options here. You can copy the code and find the, uh, the dialog box here. It's, it's actually more like a window. Um, and paste the code in here to verify that you actually own that um, domain that email address, I'm sorry, or you can click on this link as well and do the same type of thing. So it doesn't hurt to do both. Um, okay, so that's great. We have we have that set up. Let's go ahead and test it out. So we don't need to come back into our webmail ever again if we don't need to. So we'll close out of that and we'll close out of DreamHost as well. Um, there's that same email that came through here. So you're gonna have a copy of every email within your, web ho or within your webmail and within your Gmail as well. Um, but um, like I said, let's go ahead and test this out. So I do have another Gmail account uh, over here in the background this whole time. This is tonyteachestech at gmail.com. So let's just see um, how this whole thing works. So let's compose a message from Tony at tonyflorida.me. And now if this is the first time you're doing something like this, you can see that you have the option to send emails from your Gmail account or from your custom domain name, your, 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 uh, sorry, your dream host email address. So that is Tony at Tony me in my case. So I want to pick that as the from address. And then two, we want to send it to Tony teaches tech at gmail.com for this test. We'll say, um, Tony, what's up? How are you doing? And we'll go ahead and send that over here and it should pop up, uh, whoops, send, got it, send. Um, I'm thinking what's happening here is that uh, there needs to be like some time for the our changes to propagate in the background. So let me just minimize this for now and let's see if we can send an email the other way. So let's compose a message to Tony at tonyflorida.me, subject, um, did you get this? Let me know. Okay, so let's see if we can receive emails at this point yet. And there is this uh, this time delay here, uh, so you have the option to undo, but hopefully that doesn't hold us up too much here. Um, I'm gonna try to help it along with the refresh button here, and I know we'll, we'll lose that draft, but there we go. So yes, we we were able to receive that email address. Did you get this? Let me know. This is from tonyteachestech at gmail.com to tony at tonyflorida.me. And then you can hit on reply. And you have to be careful here. Um, just want to make sure that you're replying from the email address that you, uh, that you're the intended recipient. And I should have told you guys that about uh, earlier in the settings. Let me just show you while the, while the things are propagating in the background. If you go to settings, see all settings. Um, and accounts and import, you want to make sure that this box is checked here. Reply from the same address that the message was sent to. The other option is to always reply from Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com or you know your Gmail account. Um, so just make sure you have that checked and it, we do, so there's no worries uh, for me at this point. So let's go ahead and see if we can send a message now. Um, did you get this? Let me know, yes. I got it, Tony. All right, let's see if we can send now. It worked and we should see that pop up over here after the time delay. Um, we'll click on there to refresh it, move it along, maybe refresh the whole page. Nothing yet. I know it's coming. It'll be here any second now. There it is. Okay, so we got that mail. Um, that demonstrates our ability to send and receive email from within Gmail using our DreamHost email address. Guys, if you have any questions about anything in this tutorial, let me know what you think. Um, 
Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. The one caveat here is that your email addresses are checked only periodically. So if somebody sends you an email uh, from, you know, somebody sends you an email at 10 a.m., you might not see that email pop up into your account until like 11, 11 a.m., right? Because it only checks email every, every hour. Um, let me show you what I mean here. If you go to settings and see all settings again, and you go to accounts and important, I think this is something valuable that you guys should know. It last checked email two minutes ago um, and it fetched one email and you can force it to check mail, but that's like not the most convenient thing. I think, and I, I don't know 100%, but I think over time it kind of like knows your email patterns and knows how often to check. The the mat, the default is one hour, but um, you know, if, if you don't, if that's something that doesn't work for you, then you might have this, this solution might not work for you. Like it's cool that you can do this, right? That's awesome. Um, there's a lot that you're getting here, you know, kind of for free, but uh, there is ways that you can set up a custom email address and check it in Gmail and not have to wait that hour long period. And the only way I figured out how to do that so far is with a domain name that you bought from Google domains. Okay. So there's some connection there between Gmail and Google domains, as you can imagine. Um, if you want to learn how to do that, check out that video that I have linked up here. Otherwise, if you're satisfied, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.